Hello everyone, hello, this is your very buddy Black reporting in Black here playing some more Psychonauts and I just wanted to open it up with like, I, I made myself two drinks for some reason. Well, one of them's coffee and I need that for basic survival but the other one's green tea because I've been feeling a little sick lately and someone at work told me that green tea is usually like a good thing to drink when you're feeling a little ill and so green tea isn't the best, like it could be better, it's not, it's not, the, it's not the worst but like I said there's a lot of room for improvement and I have those beer cans. Those look like beer cans. Or it could be candles. No, they're, they're bottles. Never mind. They're probably like tequila or something. But the bottles seem a little too tall for tequila. Anyways, yeah, I got two drinks and they call me Johnny Two Beverages. But speaking of beverages, did I, I don't know if I already talked about this, but my absolutely favorite video that I made and have up here on my channel is called Really Really Old Beverage. Um, the video is pretty much just me, you know, having an opening shot of the backyard, which is really beautiful. And then I pan down to um, a bottle of of Pepsi, or I mean Coke. Pepsi and Coke, I always get the two mixed up. But anyways, um, the reason why I liked it so much was because of, you know, how I went about making it. Um, like, the shot you see in the video is actually the second take. In the first take, I thought, hey, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna um, open up with a beautiful shot of the backyard because it was a really beautiful day out. And then I was going to pan down, but I guess I didn't like the speed that I was panning down at first. So I just pretty much put it back up and then started panning a little bit faster. And yeah, and then um, I think in the first take too, it, it didn't focus the way I wanted it to. Like, like it kept going in and out and it wouldn't stabilize and it was really dumb. So... But in the second shot, like, it, it did a lot better job. And then when I finally went around to, like, actually editing it, I didn't realize that I had synced up the the beat of the song to the... Well, how do you say? The, the focus. It was really nice. Oh, there's a couple more sensors. There we go. Gotta take care of them. But yeah, the song I use is called Blood Flood Part 2 by Alt-J. It's really nice, too. Man. Oh man, I remember this. This is actually the entrance to the sewer. And I remember the first ever time I went down there, the camera clipped into the wall and everything got dark. And a couple of sensors um, spawned. And then they all like shouted, get out. And it scared me so much that I hadn't, that I actually didn't go like into the, into the sewers, you know, with enough courage until like I got to the very end of the game. So it's really stupid. But yeah, I'm just doing a little exploring and like, collecting some money because I apparently need that to buy the paintings because these dogs are getting ready for the tourist season like they said and I noticed in the last video that I started talking with like an accent and it was really weird because sometimes that happens I say one word in Spanish and then it sticks and I kept talking like that all day at work too and it was kind of embarrassing on my part but then I kind of got over it because there are a couple other people there too that have to speak with accents so I thought whatever you know it's not my fault that I'm bilingual but it's also kind of weird because I know Spanish, but I don't know it, like, too terribly well. Like, my sister's always getting on me, like, Oh, you speak way too formally and all that stuff. Because even though, like, my mom, my aunt, my dad, my tío, and all them would, like, speak in Spanish, like, all the time, it never really stuck with me, you know, as a language itself. Like, I, I know basic words and all that stuff, but to actually converse and use slang and all that stuff, and use proper tenses and all those things, it, it still kind of escapes me. And, you know, sometimes when you go without talking for a long time, you just forget it. It, it just it just happens. So I'm going to talk to this dude. Edgar Tegley sent me. You know, the famous painter. How about a discount? Famous painter? Edgar? <laughs> yes. Yeah, right. Aw. You don't give discounts or pff, you don't think he's famous. Look, I'm sorry, but eating lunch every day in the art teacher's room does not make you a famous painter. Anyway, you only did that to hide out from the school wrestling team. Hey, there's no shame in hiding from wrestlers. They're trouble, especially the wild animal type. Oh, what do you mean, wild animals? Like dogs, eh? Oh, you got a problem with me now? No, I just meant wrestlers can be tough. I didn't mean you. Oh, you don't think I'm tough now? What? Because I'm a Dalmatian? Hey, we can't all be St. Bernard's and Bulldogs, you know. Hey, my friend had a Dalmatian for a little while and then they had to give her back because she was really unruly and she didn't get along with the other two dogs. Has Edgar always had a problem with wrestlers? 
No way. In fact, he used to be the captain of his high school wrestling team. He took them all the way to the state semifinals one year, and then he... he choked. Cost the team the Whoops. entire match. Aw. Why did he choke? Did they get him in one of those pile driver things? A half Nelson? No. Edgar's girlfriend Lana Panzoni dumped him after the first period for Dean Legrand, the head of her cheerleading squad. Heckley was worthless after that. The Aww. other team just tossed him around the rest of the day like a half sack of pork rinds. Those chicharrones. Oh, man. His squad hated him after that. The whole school did. How sad. Especially since it all happened to him again with Dingo and Lampita. Oh, right. Yeah, they exist. Not mm. made up at all, those two. Nope, Sheesh. not one bit. Hey, I got some original Picassos over here if you're interested, by the way. See ya. Yes, run. Run from the horror. <laughs> I love that guy's voice. Oh man, this costs 75 and this costs 55. Frick. I can't have anything around this place. Sheesh. It's worse than Chinatown. In freaking San Francisco. I remember we went there once, and the teacher just kind of let us, like, walk around rampant, like, in those many blocks. And it wasn't so bad. I bought a t-shirt, but it turned out to be way too big for me at the time. It probably would fit nicely now. I don't know. Like, I don't think I've really grown all that much since freshman year. I think we went when I was a freshman. I forget. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even see you. You are a monster, and I hate you. Please die. So saith, um, I forget their names, but they're in Scott Pilgrim. The dudes are like, we hate you, please die. Nice. That's some really nice acrobatic skills I got here. Okay, so I gotta put a painting here, that's that's for sure. And I got the stupid sensors down there, you know, trying to get me. And those guys can jump. Oh my god. But, what? But they can jump, but they can also die. So that's nice. Okay, so I'm gonna head back to that card that we saw earlier. Well, mostly that I saw earlier, but yeah. I should probably get back to Ford at some point and like upgrade stuff. But yeah, kind of don't feel like it. Ooh. No! I wanted to. Frick. I wanted to get that. I'm going to ignore you. I'm ignoring you. I'm ignoring you. Oh, which reminds me, you know, with the whole controls and all the thing, like, messing messing me up a lot, I ordered a wireless receiver, you know, from my Xbox controller, and it should come in, like, pretty soon. So I'm looking forward to that. Oh, frick. How did that fat guy get up here? Oh my gosh. He can jump, too. I wasn't expecting that. I thought he was just kind of like the walk slow and brawl kind of dude. Alright, let's see if I can use F on this stupid thing. Here we go. That way I don't have to... You know, do all that all over again. I guess I was close enough to activate this cutscene. Oh, and he's a vulture? El Cuervo? I forget. La Lucha. Do you see the little lettering on the bottom? That's pretty funny. Alright. We're gonna give him some of the booms it's and the palos and the schwapalas. from a crushing victory at someone might lose a tooth in Duluth. Eagle! Oh, snap. He also has weird nipples. Which makes me think, I think the tiger dude also had weird nipples, and look at his arms. That's adorable. I think he actually flies, too. What's up, man? That's it. Whoa. Wow, that was a little unprecedented, dude. No, that's not what I wanted to do. You know, I think that's pretty much going to be my entire, like, um technique for these dudes just turn invisible and then like slam down on them a couple times ah jeez where are you going ah dude boom ah jeez ah jeez what are you gonna do ah uh, there's a shadow I can see a shadow holy frick that is terrifying Hold still, dude. Let your hitbox be open again. Haha. -ha. Oh no. Pajarito. Pajarito. No. No. All right. Kaka. 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 
can't get me, dude. Oh man. No. So sombra. A sombra. Sombra. Ah. Uh, no. Oh man. They couldn't see me get thwacked around, but it definitely happened. Yes. Gané. Colasso. Or something like that. I don't even know. <laughs> Cook car. I love how he kind of humors them after a while, too. Not gonna lie, but I have watched my own video of a uh, really, really old beverage like multiple times. Just because it's really different when you're editing it compared to when you see it in its intended environment, you know? Like, I hadn't realized that I had synced it up and that was completely by accident, which is why I love it that much more. You know, kind of like the little beauties, you know, that just happen completely out of the blue and you don't really expect it at all because it's totally not what you were like aiming for but it couldn't have turned out better even if you tried like even more i got some cards for you edgar you just gotta let it happen ah, that is exactly the card i need you also need many other cards too like where are you even getting all these Ooh, we only need one more card i think please boy i must have those queens you got it dude Ah, oh, frick. I thought I was clear, but I wasn't. My god. I need to stop assuming. I'm making an ass out of myself. And just myself. There's no you, but there's definitely a lot of me. Alright, so... Yeah, I think I did enough exploring for this one episode. The next episode, I'm gonna explore the sewers. So, look forward to that, because the sewers were pretty scary. And they show a lot of this... They show a lot about, you know, this Edgar character here. And as you can see, there's not a whole lot of cards left flying around in the... Uh, tornado of sadness, I guess. But you gotta admit, that is really, really beautiful. Kind of reminds me of uh, Super Mario 64 when you're in the castle and you just look up at the ceiling and then it transports you to that one cloud place, you know, like way up in the sky. So I hope you have a good day. If it isn't a good day, treat yourself to the sun. And until we meet again next time, I really hope you do. Bye.